And now, part three of McGee Catfish Week. see plumb to the end and I ain't seeing nothing moving that line. There's a turtle. He's gone now. Okay, just kind of slow the boat down. Start slowing the boat down. Take it up, take us under it. We want to go under and get back on the other side. Look, got a catfish. Oh, we got a catfish on. Good eyes, Matt. Get the get the net there, Dave. He's a big old channel. Nice. He's hooked in the side. All right. On the truck. Uh, that's about the size of mine. Probably. It is. It may not quite be as big as yours. All right. Bring that bad boy in here. Oh, look at this. Ooh, that's a nice one. What do you think of that, Caleb? That's what? probably more than a seven pound range. Oh yeah, show him to me. Beauty, beautiful. Yeah, All right. Spots on. Yeah. yeah bigger than it. That one was <laughs> more blue. Yeah, that was. Really something. All right, we're gonna go back and bait this line back up and then we'll see you at the other line. All right, we're up on the other line that we set. We only set two today so far. This one's up uh, in, up shallower water. This one's not near as deep of water. So we'll see if this one did any better than that one out there in the deeper water. We only got one fish on it. So here we go. Mr. Joel's man in the line, Mr. Dave's man in the net. Mr. Caleb's here for strict observation. I got Matthew here, he's my co-pilot. They're saying there's a fish. I think it was a weight. Oh, it is a fish, it's a drum. Pull him on in. All right. A lot of people don't keep drum. We keep drum. Drum are one of the best fish for smoking. It's freshwater fish. One of the best freshwater fish out there for smoking. All right, there we go. We've caught quite a number of drum here in the past. Got a limb brim on there. We'll come back through and rebate everything. After we get down uh, here, you feel something? No, I think it was just a ground. He came up. He said it was something heavy. Well, the ground's pretty heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Big stick. Big stick. You think you felt something? Yeah. Felt it. Oh, I see something pulling the line down. I don't see the fish. Oh. This is the exciting part, boys. When you feel it, and he's so deep you can't see him, but you know he must be a big one. He's within two hooks of you. He's right there. I see him. We got one. I see it. Channel catfish. That's one of the good eating sizes right there, boys. I seen him in the 
them. Yeah, we got one. We got one. Because we did. You know, All right. Rasta. Look at that. That's a nice one. Good job, boys. I'm gonna start fishing right now. Matt's doing the videotography right now. All right, I'm gonna push the whole boat backwards. Now get ready to pull towards that tree. You can, you'll be able to get right in there. Nothing else? Well, that's all we had on that line, a drum and a catfish. We got Matthew's big catfish in there, and we got the big catfish from the other line. So we won't go hungry today. It's a little bit, uh, it's kind of like you think it's a bonus if you get one the first day you set your line because it hadn't been sitting there all night in the dark while the catfish are really doing their thing. So in the morning when we come back, you're gonna see some fish, I think, I hope. So anyway, we're gonna get uh, get busy rebaiting this line and we'll see you after a bit. There's your old videographer right there, Mr. Matt. Well, folks, we decided to set a third line, which we did, and we've got it all baited up with bluegill, which is a number one flathead bait. So we're gonna head to the house and we're gonna clean these fish that we got today. Caleb, have you had a good day out here today? Yeah. Good deal. I had good fun catching that fish, but it got off whenever it was not in the boat. Yeah. Well, maybe next time you'll get him in, but boy, we had a good day, didn't we? Yeah. Let's see if we can't get Let's head to the truck. All right, lions, catch us some fish tonight. I like trot lines. You can catch fish while you're sleeping. Here we go. We made it to the house. What you got, Caleb? A, blue, a big bluegill. Did you catch it? Mm, no. No? Hmm. What are we going to do with it? Eat it. Eat it. Well, we had some big bluegills left over when we got done with our trot line, and we just decided to bring them home and clean them with the catfish and the drum and eat them. So, and we also got a nice red eye that David caught. So we're gonna do that right quick. We're gonna skin some fish and eat them. All right, we've got Mr. Joel. He's gonna be skinning and filleting bluegills while I'm doing the bigger catfish. So let's get to it. This is the reason why we do this. All right, I'm gonna do this here big. This is the smallest catfish we caught and it's a good two pound fish anyway. And when you clean a catfish, they got a hard bone all the way in their head, all the way up here, and their fillet has a shoulder that comes right up in there. So you just make a real small little cut, and then I can tell I need to sharpen my knife. It's not the best. But you come right back through there. Okay, and uh, just make an outline on the skin. Come back to that little small slit you made, and 
After a few times, you'll realize where the ribs are and you'll know where to cut around that all the way to the bottom and then outline that. Uh, Joel's got my nippers. I can't pull the hide off. He went to get a bucket to put the skin in. All right, use your thumb to loosen that skin from the meat so you don't tear meat off as you go. And then just give it a big yank. Voila, and off it comes. Now, don't skin this side off until you fillet this side. You turn that over and then that meat's laying right in your old nastiness. And I see people do that on YouTube all the time and it just gets on my nerves. I hate seeing meat get dirty. I'm not going to go into great detail on how to skin these fish because we're going to we're going to catch a lot of catfish during this week and we're going to do a skinning video and show you in detail how it's done slower and that way you can get you can get it down pat. I got to sharpen this knife. Here's how you peel a bluegill now. He did he went around it just like I did on the catfish. He uses his thumb Peels it hide right off that fillet. Pretty as a picture. Now he's just gonna take that sharp fillet knife. He's got several years of filleting fish under his belt already, as does my cameraman David. Nice fillet. All right, I've got to hide off my second side here. You can actually eat catfish skin. And I'm gonna do an experiment this year and I'm gonna fillet some with the skin on and fry them and see how I like it. The skin is not bad at all. That would take a lot of work out of the process if that turns out to be the case. You can just let that knife just float right over them ribs. Come down through there, gives you a nice fillet. Now here's another thing people throw away. I call it the belly meat or the nuggets. People throw this away and it's easy to get. And although it's not as fine a eating as the fillet, it's not it's not bad if you cut it in strips and cook it like french fries. Man, it's it's fine. Nothing wrong with it. And over the course of this week, if we threw all this away, we'd throw away 20, 30 pounds of catfish. Nugget. You get two nuggets off of each belly. The hide don't peel off real easy off that belly, but you just force your thumb in there and there you got it. All right, one catfish down. I'm gonna spray this off right quick. I gotta give me some more water hose, this don't reach. Here's Matt, big one. He handed it to me, that means that's the one he wants done. Look at that big old monster. Nine pounds and two ounces. We're gonna eat some catfish eggs this week. We may do a, a catfish egg cook eat video. Can't promise you that yet, but it's very possible. All right, we're going right on down through here. Big old catfish he caught on the tiniest rod. I couldn't believe it. And the hook. Matt, get the pot, get your fishing pole and show them how little the hook was that you caught this on. 
he caught a nine pound, two ounce catfish on that hook. Now that guy's got some skill. He done a very good job of getting that fish in with the help of his brother, Joel, netting it. How much is this one? Nine, two. Nine pounds and two ounces. Big old thing. Six, eleven. Six pounds, eleven ounces. This is that old dark blue looking channel catfish. He's an old male, I believe. Big old male. These old males, they have a denser flesh. It's really dense. And these big ones like this, they're better for smoking and for uh, baking with different flavors rather than just straight frying. Here's that drum. The old timers in Texas where I come from called these, and my grandfather included, called this Gaspergoo. I don't know why in the world, but these were called Gaspergoo back in them days. These fish have meat a lot like redfish, and redfish is highly prized for blackened redfish. They, the Cajuns do this style of cooking called blackening. I've had it and it's very good and this fish has got the same kind of meat in it. I don't know, it's just not cool or acceptable to keep it. People call this a trash fish and throw it away. Sometimes they throw it back, but a lot of times they just throw it up on the bank and let it rot, and that's a shame to throw good food away. Peel that right back. The meat's got the same coloration as redfish in the ocean. And it's got the same texture. There you have it. Redfish filet. Freshwater drum. And drum eat a lot of the same things catfish eat, so when we're catfishing, every year we catch freshwater drum right there. Take your kids fishing, catch some panfish.
Panfish are so easy to catch. As you've seen in this video, we were just catching them bluegill just left and right. Keep the bigger ones. If you're not running a trot line, don't keep the little ones. Keep the big ones that are the size of your hand. And then get this video out and watch how to fillet a panfish. Watch Mr. Joe show you. If you ain't careful and you don't have a sharp knife, you're just gonna come out with strings. If you do it right, you get all that off of there. Go around the ribs. You don't want a bunch of bones in your, in your kids' fish. When they're eating it, they'll choke. Kids need boneless fish meat. Well, folks, that's pretty much got this video wrapped up. We got just a few more little bluegill that we had left over. We're gonna finish cleaning those. We're gonna wrap it up. Tomorrow, you don't wanna miss it because we got some, we're gonna have trot lines fishing for us all night. Well, we're gonna be asleep, you're gonna be asleep. We're gonna catch some fish tonight while we're asleep. That's the beauty of trot lining. We've got three trot lines out. I don't know how many hooks is on them, but they're all baited and they're gonna be fishing for us. They're fishing for us right now. And they're gonna be fishing for us all week. So you don't wanna miss tomorrow. Come back, see us again tomorrow. You have a good day. We'll see you on the next video.